All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review NQ Mobile Security and Antivirus for your phone. This is for Android, and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm in an app store right now, and NQ Mobile Security, man, they, they have some pretty good reviews. 4.4 reviews, 10 million downloads. Let's scroll down here. Useful, easy to use, best antivirus, good security, nice features, great protection. Looks like people like it. We're going to go ahead and install it and take a look at it. We're going to go ahead and accept all the crazy uh, permissions there. <laughs> so it's going to go ahead and download right now. This might take a while. I'm going to pause it right now and continue with you guys as soon as this is ready. So it finished downloading. Now it's installing. As we can see here. And we're going to go ahead and open it. NQ Mobile Security. An accurate, fast, and thorough engine with three international certifications. Wow, so they're certified. I kind of saw there that they're traded in the stock market too. That's, man, they must be a big company. All right, so this is what it looks like here. Checkup. No checkup has been ever performed. It's waiting to do a checkup. It's just begging you to tap on it there. As we can see down here, there's a virus scan, phone boost, junk clean, and cloud backup. It looks pretty user friendly. Let's go ahead and click on the checkup button up here because it's just crying to be clicked on. Wi Fi protection enabled. Safe browsing enabled. Real time protection enabled. Memory to release 431 megabytes. It's still checking right now. So I found two vulnerabilities and virus databases out of date. Okay, let's click on optimize. It fixed everything. The database, I think we got to upgrade. Okay, ah, uh, I knew it. So they're asking you to. If you want to update your database, you got to pay, guys. 12 months for $19. Man, they're going to charge you every month for this thing. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, let's look at that again. So the free version has dual antivirus engine, but does not have automatic virus database updates. No anti eavesdropping No financial protection and no social networking. you got to pay for all that. Now we did review before this video the 360 security antivirus boost and that was a free one. And you have all that for free. So I, I don't know guys. Maybe when you pay for it, 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 it is worth it. But when there is free software out there, for example, the 360 security that we tested up, that we tested before this video, um, I like that better. But anyway, let's take a look. Let's go to the phone boost and see how that does. One tap boost. Let's see what that does. And there it goes. Blast off. And it's making you install something now. Quick boost self employment. So that's an ad that popped up. That's not cool when ads pop up, guys. I don't like that. All right. But it looks like it boosted it up somehow. I don't know what it really did there. All right. Let's, let's go to virus scan. Of course, update virus database. If you, if you tap on that, it's going to probably make you buy it. Of course, I knew it. All right, so we're not even we're not even going to scan with a full database here. What new viruses come out every minute, guys? Every minute a new virus comes out. I might be exaggerating; it might be every 30 minutes, but a new virus comes out every day. So you need that database, and you can't get it in this app. So that's already uh, I'm going to lose points in this review for this app. Let's go ahead and test out the full scan feature here. Wow, it's pretty slow. Reminds me of a computer scan. This is just an Android device, man. All right, guys, so now it's going a lot faster. After I got done with the apps, now it's going faster. Boom, I think it's done. Cool, no threats found. Now, if uh, the reason why I didn't find any threats is because I already scanned with our latest, with our last video, 360 security.
but it was cool to uh, see it's trying to make us um, buy the full version here, which I don't like much. I don't like that it's doing that. All right, let's go to the junk cleaner, see what that does. And it's going through right now. It's doing the system cache. My phone's so weird. Sometimes it just wants to freaking record you. Check that out. It wants to record me right now. Did you guys see that? I didn't even hit the freaking the voice activation thing. If that happens to you guys, go ahead and uh, comment in the comment section of the video. Let me know if your phone does that to you guys too. That's just so weird. Let's go ahead and hit clean up here. It's going to clean up 904 megabytes. Nice. That's a good way to save some space right there. All right. So we did all we did junk cleanup, virus scan, phone boost. Now we got cloud backup. And you got to have an account with them to do this. You can back up your contacts. Cool. And if, uh, let's say, you your phone breaks, you get a new phone, you install the app, you log in, and then you hit here on restore contacts. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that you can uh, back up your contacts. So that's pretty much it, guys, for the NQ security antivirus. It looks like it, it can do a lot of things, right? I like the backup part of it. A lot of the other antivirus programs don't have a backup. What I don't like about it is that you got to pay for it every month. There's nothing I like having an app that you just pay for it once and you're done. But then there, this app here, NQ Mobile Security Antivirus, is going to nickel and dime you every month. So, man, I don't know. I got to give it a maybe a, a two and a half out of five stars for this app. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be making a lot more uh, Android antivirus reviews and tutorials. Stay tuned, and I'll see you soon in one of my next videos.